From the studios of Cromwell Middle School to Connecticut, America, planet Earth, and the Milky Way, this is CMS Student News. CMS, I'm Jasmine. Our top story, coming soon to a school lunchroom near you, CARES Cash Incentive Table. This table, this table will have new and exciting ways that students can spend their CARES Cash. For example, for 15 CARES Cash, 8th graders can purchase a seat at the Tunes Table. At the Tunes Table, students can listen to music on their phones. This is a privilege is only available to 8th graders. Also, coming soon for 6th and 7th graders is a new Fast Pass. With a Purchase at a fast pass, students can skip to the front of the lunch line. This will cost 10 CARES cash. Teachers on calf duty will walk the students to the front of the line in order of the request. I love nacho play, the best lunch of the year! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh man, Mr. Bozeman kept me late. I'm at the end of the line for nacho plate? You must have not heard of the new CMS CARES Cash prize. If you only spend 10 CARES Cash, you can get a fast pass and skip the whole line. The whole line? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Hey man, there's a line here. Oh well, too bad. I got the CARES Cash fast pass to cut the line. Oh man, I want one. Two can buy a fast pass with 10 CARES cash. This week, Dakota is back and better than ever with a new book recommendation. This time, she rec she's recommending the A Series of Unfortunate Events book by Lemony Snicket. Take it away, Dakota. Hey, Mesh, we're here with Dakota Henderson for the book of the week. This week's book is actually a series. A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. It's about the bottle airs. And um, the kids, Violet, Claus, and Sonny, are sent to foster care with Count Olaf, their uncle, after their parents have been killed in a fire. It's a great series, and I highly recommend it. Alexis, would you read this series? I would consider it, and I probably will read it. And it seems very interesting, so I will start to read it now. On Friday, students and staff came, in, came to the school in their pajamas in support of childhood cancer. Each student donated one dollar that would go, go towards CCM, CCMC Cancer Research. Check out the students in their pajamas. Recently, the teachers decorated the main entrance to look like a winter wonderland. The teachers filled the hallway with snowflakes and drawings. CMS News was there to check out the action. Take a look. Hi, this is Sabina reporting from the North Pole. This actually isn't the North Pole, it's Cromwell Middle School. Teachers has created a winter wonderland. Check it out! Really, tell us what you think about the winter wonderland. I think it's really neat how we have all these um, snowflakes that people made and how teachers colored that and how we have all these things that have been donated to us. Logan, tell us what you think about the winter wonderland. The winter wonderland is incredible. I mean, Look at this, that's, that's amazing. And then you got all these snowmen, snowflakes hanging all over the place. I think it's beautiful. They did a great job. Good morning, CMS. I'm Isabella Barber. Today, we have the pleasure to talk to Jack Midgley, who will be playing Jafar in the up-and-coming musical Aladdin. OK, let's get to know more about you. We have a few grilling questions for you. Is this your first CMS production? No, it isn't. What productions have you been in? I've been in The Lion King and The Music Man at CMS. Other than that, have you had any other acting experience? Um, actually, yes. I go to the company and Tempo, and um, they do a lot of good shows there, and I've been there for three years now. Tell us what auditions were like for you. Well, the first set of auditions weren't very stressful because they were different. Like, we'd just play games. But then once we got into callbacks, it was more stressful because there was more competition. How are you preparing to play a villain in this performance? Well, I saw Aladdin on Broadway last Thursday, and I was able to see the original Jafar voice actor. So I really liked studying how he played Jafar, and I want to act like him. 
What are some acting influences in your life? Well, I feel like for last year, Robert Preston, he was really awesome. And I like how loose he was on stage and on the screen. And I feel like he would be really good to be like on stage. That's all we have for you today, CMS. Thank you. Thank you, CMS. That is it. Good morning. Have a pleasant Friday. Two, one. Hi, this is Savannah, coming live to the North Pole. From Actually, the North Pole. Oh my god, okay. Again. Hi, this is Savannah reporting live at Cromwell North Pole. No. Cromwell North Pole. North Pole. What is the Cromwell North Pole? This is Savannah reporting from the I North Pole. It. It's not the I North Pole, it's Cromwell okay. Middle School. Hi, this is Savannah reporting from the North Pole. Cromwell CMS Middle School. Guys, McKenna, McKenna. What are some acting influences in your life? Um. Can we not do that question? Your older brother. Come on, act. Come on, Adam. You got to be spontaneous. Okay. Influences in your life. Well, I feel like for last year, Robert Preston, he was really awesome. And I like how loose he was on stage and on the screen. And I feel like he would be really good to be like on stage. Who are these people? 